Well, we're live. We are live. Let's get a fork out. Oh, I don't know. Why do you mean I don't? Oh, we gotta put some lights on here. I'm gonna put some lights. Camera action. I don't need these lights. You gotta turn these ones off. Oh, wait, I gotta bring my computer out so people can see. So we can see the people. We need to see the people. Hi, everyone. Give us a second here. All right, I'm, I'm kind of excited to try this. Very excited, actually. I've been thinking about it all day. I've been thinking about it. Let me put this on so I can read everybody's. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go downstairs and send it. If you wanna see um, more of the movie, I rendered it already, I just gotta email it to myself. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna run down there and do that, but first I'm gonna pull up YouTube. Hi everyone, and then I'll live hang in the kitch. I'll oh, hang what? up. What just happened? Wait, is this even right? I'm working on this new case. It's not public. Oh wait, hold on, is that not working? Oh no, wait. Why Where's did it show it like that? It, it was weird on the... Oh, yeah, that's us, man. Hello! I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so there we have our questionnaire. Yes, okay. You know, while you're um, gonna, rendering that, I'm going to make the Thousand Island for the... Okay, but so today we're going to make a few things for St. Patrick's Day. Just pretend that we're one day behind. Yeah. Because of it's because of your leap year. It just threw us off a day, but... That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, you, so, you go do the thing. I'll talk and, and I'll start making this. Right. I won't do any of the cool because I want to show you the seitan and the tofu that we made last night. And I'm really hoping it came okay, out yeah, we'll, delicious. We'll, we'll talk about yeah. that. Let's. Oh, there we go. Where's the good knife? Oh, wait. Hold on. The good knife. Is that like the good sun? Yeah. Okay. So here's the good knife book. We got a we'll sharpen. sharpener. Here, do this one and then this one and then this one. Do it a few times each. Okay. I'm just going to run downstairs and, and email that to myself. Two. Or else we're never going to be able to see it. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. All right. So first, chopping them up. I figure get this part out of the way because this sandwich is going to come together pretty quickly. Last night on my channel, I made corned beef version of seitan and a corned beef version of tofu. And I figure what we do is we would make one sandwich each and then Chris and I would kind of try both of them and see what we thought. Is it rendering? It, yeah, it's done. It's ready to, we can just watch it right now and like stop the stream. Oh, cool. All right, so Chris, once I'm done with the sauce, I want to talk about, I want to show you the seitan and the tofu, all right? Seitan and the tofu. So is that is that knife knife nice and sharp now? Yeah, she's real sharp. All right, cool. I don't know if that's really gonna do much, but we'll put this light over here. I went back to that spring and I I bought a six gallon jug, filled it up with spring water. Nice. Yeah. So I'm thinking about doing like shreds, almost shreds like this, like really thin. Can you do me a favor? What? Spoon a big heaping spoonful of that veginase in there. Spoon, man. Dude, I know it's called Veginase, but... I know. It's always going to be Veganase for Yeah, me. for Veganase. For vegans. Do you have must? Organic ketchup, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got, well... Made out of organs. I do have that, but that's the only kind I have. That's fine. A little spice. A little spice never kill anybody. Okay, so we need um, a spoonful of this. Because we're making, like, Thousand Islands kind of Russian. How much do you want? Like, probably like something like that. Something that'll make me, like, a few sandwiches worth, I'd say. And then, so check out the color of this seitan. Huh? That, that looks good. You got that beet juice in there. Yeah. Now, I'm going to, um, I'm going to use... Do I have a hair length goal, or do I plan to cut it eventually? Yeah, I'll cut it eventually. I don't have any goals for it. It's getting pretty long. There 
Y'all pop that up, pop the hood open, check out the tofu. All right, we're doing it. You know, I can't find um, any of the other mayo at Wegmans anymore. They stopped selling the Hellman's one and um, they replaced it with a Wegmans one, which I got to say, I, I bought it and I tried it out. And I got to say, it's not just not good. It's bad. It's real Can bad. Can I try it? I took it back. I never you take took it any, back. That's how bad it was. Wow. I never take things back. But I took that back because it was so bad. What did it taste like? It just was. It didn't taste right. It was just. I can't even explain it. It did not taste anything like a vegan mayo at all. So that's the tofu. I marinated it in beet juice and pickling seasoning. So like I'm thinking, what we do is we slice that up really thin as well. Touch it all out. Touch it. Yeah. Put my okay. hand. Well, this, this hand's clean. I gotta go wash mine. Okay. Okay. Because I just took the dogs out. Who let the dogs out? Chris, Oof, Chris, Oof, Chris, Oof, Chris, Oof, Chris, Oof. Yeah, I did. Good boy for letting the dogs out, Chris. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. All right. How's it going, everybody? Let's uh, let's read some of these comments here. Or not. I got, I'm just going to make it a little bigger because, like, I, there we go. There we go. All right. There, that, that'll be good because then I'll be able to see it from across the room. Meet me halfway. Wait, hold on. It's always, it's being weird. Okay, I guess that's how good it's going to be. Let's go back up. Hi, bud. What are you doing down there? Huh? John washed his hands and licked his fingers. I did not lick my fingers. That's a lie. Who said that? Linda. Dude, Linda. I don't know. I trust Linda. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Linda, don't are you messing with me? I wouldn't. Um, look at the juices coming out of that toe. Oh, look at that, bud. Look at that. Just look right at it. it Guys, it, look. That looks, she turned pink. I should take this off and like, you know, just. Yeah, why don't you show them like, show them what the, what the seitan looks like. Give them a little. Here, show okay, that, show the I, camera. I'll, man. Show, I'll show the folks at home. And then mix, you got to mix that mayo, bro. I, I'll do it. I can't believe so wet. That's a bummer. They're just like, you know, let's just make it ourselves. We'll make more money. And then it's disgusting. Yeah. They did that with the cheese, too. Yeah. They did. They did it with the cheese. They still have the Violite, but go. They, go. they don't have any of the Jaya stuff, do they? No. Um, they did it with... Uh, the cheese just melted to a pool of, like, gush. Yeah. It, yeah. Kind of reminds me of the Follow Your Heart stuff, but way worse. Look at that. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is going to happen really fast. Did you say you don't have Miyoko's butter, so we're going to use this? Oh, I do, but yeah, you already got that right there. So, All right, so let's butter up a couple, uh, four slices. I went to Wegmans last night to buy dates and rye bread. I was going to get the Heidelberg. No rye bread. I understand it was St. Patrick's Day, but... No dates either in the entire store. Like, where the heck were the dates? Oh, you know what? They moved the dates. Where? Um, They are in the... Uh... Oh, shoot. Where did they move? I could not... They're, I... they're in, like, where you know where the bulk section is, where the nuts and stuff are? They're not in the produce section where they used to be. Do you have um, canola oil? Or... Uh... The only oil I have is for grease in the pan. Yeah, let's do that. So I got, I got some... Here, use some of this. Because okay. the only other kind I have is for the dogs. Dog food, which is vegetable. Um, you gotta you gotta season that pan. Yeah, you gotta get a little bit in there. So we got some rye bread. We're gonna make it like a grilled cheese. So I'll grab four pieces of that. I got smoked provolone cheese. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I have. What do I have? Okay. Yeah, I think I got American. Do you want some apple cider or anything while we're waiting? No, that's okay. I okay. got coconut water. Oh, right. A coconut. I think I might have some apple cider. Wow. Something besides water, bud. I know. What the heck? Okay. So that, I can just put that over there. Oh, we got to make smoothies. We're going to make smoothies. I'll just drink that instead. Do you want to start getting the smoothies ready? I get the smoothies ready. All right. After you butter the bread, though. Or, not, or I can butter the bread. You can do the smoothie. I the don't care. The only problem is the smoothie is going to be loud. And I don't, you know, I, I'm not really... 
Yeah. We're gonna make green smoothies. He's being a good boy. Why? Because we said we were going to last week. People said, are you going to make some St. Patrick's Day thing? Festivities. So we're doing it a day late. Because Macbeth's shoes are back. Where? I didn't hear that. That's fun. Well, that's cool. I just have a pair of these. Like, I really like the slip-ons. Started um, wearing the, the Annie brand, but they mm. kind of, they went out of business. They and, did? Yeah. I yeah. And, um... And I went through all of mine, so I found these on the internet, and I just, they're, they're comfortable. We got some frozen banana. Ooh. No dates, though. No dates. I really wanted to put dates in there. Dates are my favorite sweetener. Currently making vegan chocolate chip cookies. You can't go wrong with those. Bring them over. Yep. They're my favorite. Don't make cookies unless they're chocolate chip. Stacy's never had a Reuben? Come on. Stacy's never had a Reuben. Come over. Well, we have Reubens over here. Okay. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit of protein powder in because it makes it taste better. And we gotta have strong, uh, strong, strong healthy bones, strong and teeth, muscles. I put some of that organic organ in there. <sighs> What's up, Tommy? Okay, so get that boy some milk. We need some milk. Okay. We're gonna use some soy milk, vanilla flavored soy milk. We got some carrots to go in here. Just kidding. These are for the dog. Oh man, I was gonna. Wait, say. Zeke, come on. Hey, go. Go. Over there, sit down. You're good. I think he's. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Okay, green. We need green. Now I had some uh, spirulina that was really old. I'm not going to use it because it doesn't smell too good. But I got some of this or organic greens. I just opened it. I've never used it before, but this is what it is. I don't even remember where I got it from. Maybe I got it from one of the expos. I don't remember. So we're going to put a little bit of this in there because it doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> that, that bad. Yeah, it it's, it's a that powerful bad. smell. John's making things. Am I in your way? No. Right. You're, um, John why don't we put the other one down and we'll... The other, um... The other cast iron and we'll, uh, we'll toast the bread. Okay, 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 okay. okay. There we go. We gotta make this green, so. What's in here? Something's in here. All right, hopefully that's good. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. Um, I'm also gonna put a bunch of uh, cinnamon in here. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Get that silent cinnamon. Silence of the cinnamon. Silence of the lambs. Okay, um, what else do I, I normally put dates in there. I don't have any dates. The spirulina? Um, yeah, it's, it's just, in, it was in like, uh, 
Where is it? Yeah, I would say it's expired. My friend gave me this before she moved to Iceland back in like 2019. So that's probably expired. I'm going to move the microphone so that it's not as intense. So just uh, bear with me. I'm just going to turn the blender on. Dogs are getting into it. Listening to me. What's up, heavy metal vegan? Thank you for that super chat there. How's it going today? Zeke, over here now. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, I didn't have the microphone. I was saying, if, unless you didn't hear me, thank you for that super chat, heavy metal, heavy metal vegan. How's it going? Yeah, I think I might want to put some. This is pretty thick. Do you like your smoothie thick? Yeah. Or thin? However you want to do it. I don't care. I'm just happy to be here, Bob. I got my Game of Thrones mug. Green, a pigment of green. It's not really green. But well, you know, we don't need it to be real. We don't need it to it's be real. It's the day really after green. anyway. It's got to be less green. Oh, right, 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 right. Personal. It doesn't really look green in there in the camera, but it is green. Can you attest to that? Does that look green to you? It does in fact look green. Okay. It is green. You love it when we get together. Yes, so do we. What's up, Mom? Hey, Mom, how's it going? Mom's on. Mom's on. Mom's on. Um, what are we using for the meat and the Rubens? You got here late. We are using, John made some seitan, and we also have some tofu, baked tofu marinated with beet juice. Beet juice and pickling spice and all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. I'm going to put this in the fridge for you. Don't forget it. Okay, thank you. We're about, to, we're about to build some sandwiches, you guys. I like to drink this with, I like to eat it with like a spoon. That That's a good shot. Maybe, oh, you know what? I got to take a picture of some of this stuff for the thumbnails. It's pretty good, dude. It is pretty good.
Dude, it is really good. I know. That's what I usually have for breakfast, minus the green. <laughs> What'd you do? Do I have something on my face? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you should get right in the camera. <laughs> no. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Okay. I got my other phone to take the pictures. Come on, Red. Crisp up. You put chocolate chips in yours second time? Your second one? What are we making tonight, Mom? We're making Rubens. We got Rubens, and we just made a, a green shamrock shake smoothie. All good for y'all, healthy stuff. Um, and we're also making Reuben sandwich with, does Reuben mean sandwich? Am I saying like sandwich sandwich? I don't know. Should we're we making a Reuben. It's like saying ATM machine. You just say the ATM. That's right. Um, so we're making a Reuben. We have some marinated tofu. Really good. And we also have some seitan. Doesn't look that good. But it's good. It is good. It's really it's good. Real good. We're gonna slice. You already sliced it, right? I did. We're it's sliced and cooking. Chakota ready. Uh -oh. Um. Uh -oh. I feel like this should be like on a stick, turning around by a flame. And then you slice it down. Yeah. The shawarma or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. This is good. Okay, so. Um. I'll give you some more updates on the movie too in a little while. This is looking good. I wish we had thicker bread, though. It's pretty thin. It's thin, but guess what? It's like, I feel like if it's really thick, we're not going to be able to eat it. It's not the about the size of the bread. It's the meat that you're jamming in it. Right, you know, right. We got some good meat. Right. Are we done with, we're done with this. Done with that, yep. <laughs> I usually like to make, I you know, it's it's always good to make a, a thick shake. Yeah, you need it like an ice cream, you know? But I actually like making them a lot thinner. So I can drink it. Unless I'm eating it for like a smoothie bowl. Uh, what's up, Robin? What am I? What am I eating, Mom? I just told you we're we're making um, we're making a Reuben. It's got all the. You know what? Why don't we show the folks at home what all this stuff looks like? Do I'm, it. I'll take it over there. Okay. Be careful, Chris. I will. And then I'm, I'm building these bad boys, so don't be over there too long, all right? All right. We got here. We got some seitan on the side, tofu to the right, and the jokers in the middle. Stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle with you. That could be the thumbnail right there, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. I have no idea why I'm singing that. Well, now it's going to be in our heads the whole night. Have I seen Dune 2? No, I haven't even seen... I've only seen the original Dune when I was a little kid and I did not like it. I don't even remember it. But I've heard a lot of really good things about Dune 2, so now I want to watch Dune, the remake, and then Dune 2. Yeah. I hear it's really good. Yeah. We got some cheese in What do you guys think? Is it good? Oh yeah, let me get a, let me get a, um, a proper 16 by 9 of that. Actually, once you put it together, do one one open. Yeah, one open and one closed. Oh, yeah, baby. So you'll make that one into one, and then the next one leave open. I want to take a picture of both of them, if you know what I mean. Okay. Put, we got to put more Thousand Island on that. Okay, because I used to make this stuff before I was even vegan. Oh, do you know that, uh, what, like two days ago was my... Uh, 34 year anniversary of going vegetarian. Wow, dude. It was like, yeah, it was, uh, are we in the honest one too? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I used to make this Russian dressing, Thousand Islands, way back in the biz. All right, dude. What are you doing there, man? I'm making a real mess over here. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's, let's open this, uh, picture making machine. We'll go to 16 by nine aspect ratio. So we have a thumbnail, and we'll, you can hold it up, and I'll just, I'll snap. Close one of them. 
the safety on one. I think it's going to look good when we cross cut it. Okay, yeah. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe cut it and then we'll open it up. Maybe we should put it on this cutting board because it'll look way better. Okay. We, we want a good picture. This is what we got to do to get people to watch this video after the fact. All right, ready? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. And then put the other one face up or something. What is, what, what is this? A Satan. Are you sure? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I hope so. That's good. We should like make a cookbook or something. What's in the cup, Mom? It's a green shamrock smoothie. Frozen banana, soy milk, silent cinnamon, protein powder, and some green, organic greens. This uh, little healthy green thing that I just opened. All right, dude. Take a picture and then I'll cut that one. Meow, meow, meow. I feel like the light's not on my side over here. Here, we need to take a good picture, so I got to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I don't know if this is a good picture or not. Let's just get right in there with this. Um, maybe if you put this one on top of that. Okay, stack it. Stack it. Stackables. Stack it. This is part of the job. We just, we have to do it. Oh, uh, I should have made another one. Well, we got more seitan, we got more bread, we got more cheese, we got we, more stuff. We could, we could, we could. Dude, like, that's fun looking. Dude, I love food so much. It makes me happy. <laughs> oh, that one looks kind of good. Okay, and now also, also, let me take a picture for the gram. You ever take a picture for the gram? I try. Gram, cracker, Mike. Gram, cracker, Mike. Okay, we got that. I kind of want this is, to, this is the whole ordeal. Like, I just want, that looks good too. You want, you have the bigger one though. Well, no, I want you to have a tofu bite and a seafood. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. I just want your, because I feel like the pickling spice made this way too clovey. I do like the way the seitan turned out. Okay, well, well, I'll, I'll definitely try that then. Great, <laughs> try it. Let's take this out of the way. We'll put this here. I just want to do a little boom. I just want to live. Okay, that ain't working. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. We're doing a boom. Okay. Sure. That's all I need. Okay. Let's, uh... You ready to eat? Yeah. I'm going to save that, and then I'll come back to it at a later time. You know? Come on, save, save, save. There it goes. Save. You want to play? Back up here. Or no? Um, I got my cutting board. Okay. But. Alright, so. There's that. I'll give you this one. This, uh, um, Sun Warrior Super Greens has mint in it. We didn't, I didn't use this one though. So, no, there's not really any mint in it. Now, the idea is the melted cheese. I do have a minty one, though, that I made with Cesar a few years ago. We made a I thought we were going to make that today, but... Sorry, man. No, this is delicious. I'm happy. It was very good. We used ice cream. Oh. This one's healthy. All right, so... So, which, which one's which? That's the seitan one. Yeah. That's the tofu one. Okay, and... What, so, what's the difference here? Just that? That's it. Everything else is the same. Okay, I, think I you got something right there. Oh. No other... Oh. There you go. Okay. Satan, which one are you doing first? Satan first. Satan first. All right, let's go. I feel like if we went to a, a vegan restaurant and we paid for one of these, that's how it would taste. Yeah. If it was a good restaurant. Mm. I feel like we could sell this. It's really good. Mm. Yeah. Now, let's take a bite of the um, oh, the tofu one, right? Yeah, let's take a bite of the tofu one. Okay. It's more more fall apart here. Yeah. But it's really really good. 
I don't even know which one I like better. I, I will say, all together, all together, no, no, um, all together, the tofu Reuben's pretty dang good. I, I think I like that if one, you, but if you just eat the tofu on its own, like cut a piece of that, it's not that good. It's really, like mm. the cloves really come through on it. It's more gluten free than this one, but it's not completely gluten free because of the bread. Right, 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 right. I wonder if I dipped it in here. No, I'm do just it. Like, no. Nah. Um, yeah, this is really good, guys. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Good night, Mel. Good night, Mel. Yep. Okay, watch the rest later. Linda, you're so right. We've talked about that many times, that if I ever opened up a restaurant, a cunning board would be what we serve it on. That would be your plate. Take it or leave it. Mm. This is so good. That comes back to like when we were kids and you would just like make a harvest burger and you would eat it off a cutting board. Yeah. I saw you do well, that. Well, I still do that now. I did it earlier today. I saw you do that. I'm like, that's genius. I love that. Because like you prepare the whole thing on here and then you just eat it. Mm. It's great. And then? Less dishes. You wash it off. For tomorrow. Or you leave it dirty. This is so good. How long did it take you to make the seitan last night? Um, is it similar to the seitan in our cookbook, just a few different changes? Yeah. Re actually, it's really simple. Really simple. Mm -hmm. I'm, mess I'm a messy eater. I, I need a, a towel or a napkin. I, that was good. I really liked it. The to I just ate the tofu one. Holy... Ma, don't, don't give out any locations. You had a peanut butter and jelly? You know, sometimes a peanut butter and jelly is where it's at. You ever have a toasted peanut butter and jelly? That's where it's at. Hell yeah. Mmm. <clears throat> we should have fluffernutters one night. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I have enough for like a whole one, but <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, this was really good. Hit the spot. We got. Hey Babs, uh, Craig told me you met him the other day. We should do a video. Mmm, this is good. The zombie brothers will come to your house and make a make a meal. Right, but what will we make? We got to make something with what the ingredients in your house. Okay. <laughs> Popcorn for dinner. Every time I try toasted peanut butter and jelly, the peanut butter melts into the toaster and the jelly all slides out. <laughs> Don't do it like that. Toast the bread first, then build it. Toast the bread. A little bit of vegan butter on the side of the bread. And that'll make the other side of it still a little bit like fluffy, the bread part, which will create a little bit of a dip and the crust should stay up. So then you pour the peanut butter and the jelly and then you close it up and there you go. I used to eat fluffer nutters when I was a little kid. I used to eat fluffer nutters as an adult. <laughs> it's been a couple of years though. Oh, My man. mom used to buy the, you know, that's what we make. What was it called? Just fluff, right? The mm -hmm. Marshmallow fluff? John, did you recover from your explosion from last night? That's the video I show you of the kombucha. Yeah. And uh, after putting it in the fridge, it like died. The carbonation like was a lot less intense. So that's good. Oh, man. That sandwich really hit the spot. This is so good. Yeah. Both, I don't even, they're both really good. Now it's time for a little dessert. 
You think the tofu was your um your your favorite though? Um maybe only about like two percent. Oh, this is a good shake. And it's not like protein. You know how like too much protein? You get that weird protein taste? Yeah, it's not like that. I'm gonna use this for the rest of my tofu. You still hungry? We got lots more ingredients. We can make another one and split it. This is the only dinner we're ever gonna have tonight. That's right. Oh my god, that was so good. Now what? Now what do we do? We take a quick after dinner nap. I know last week it was crazy because uh, we were on for like two hours because we drove to Craig's house. Well, yeah, we drove to Craig's. That was fun. Mm -hmm. I would say we could drive to my parents' house and do it, but... Yeah. Sorry, Mom. You have very bad internet. It would not work. Next, we're going to clean the kitchen. <laughs> but maybe I could drive... Like, maybe I could meet my parents like at my brother's house or something if they were cool with it. Pat's? Brian's. Maybe we could do pads too another day. I was just at, I just drove past Brian's house yesterday. You did? Yeah. He still lives on at the end of the road, right? He didn't move on that street. Oh, he's, no. no. He lives he, in a different house now? Yeah, he's lived in a different house for like forever. Probably for at least. Same. Same kind of area, but not the end house. But you, you're talking about the one I lived in, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, he doesn't. He he sold that like eight, eight or nine years ago. Oh right. my god. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um. Do we miss carob? I do not miss carob at all. I'm actually when I first went vegetarian and first went vegan, carob was the thing, and I was like, no. You didn't like it. No, I didn't mind it. No. What didn't you like about it? I just it didn't just like wasn't it. chocolate. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I didn't, I never liked Carol. Delivering pizza to Craig will go down as a legendary live stream. Aw, thank you. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, Mike. That was a fun day. It was a fun day. Oh, I was going to surprise you with Lion's Mane tonight. Oh. I couldn't get my hand on it, but I did find a source. I got to go out to Fulton. So maybe next week we'll, we'll taste that. Yeah, lion's. let's do that next week. Carob tastes like a raisin is trying to be chocolate. <laughs> Seriously. I'm that's, you know, I was trying to think of a good way to describe it, and that's pretty good. Like, I'm vegan. I'm not, like, I don't, I'm not, like, I, I need to eat food that tastes good. I need to eat. Man, reminded me of when I, back in the day when we first went vegan. Things weren't as good. No, no. <sighs> Although Tofuti's been around. You know what I'm Tofuti's saying? been around. AJ, you like it? Deliver Tommy a Reuben sandwich in New Hampshire stream? <laughs> That'd be a long stream. That would be a really long stream. Would you guys hang out with us the whole time? It would be fun to do like a road trip stream though. Right, yeah. We'd probably lose connection a few times. Yeah. So. So, uh, you you mentioned uh, you're pretty far along on editing the movie, but I don't think you told our buds. I am. I'm very. I'm almost done with the rough rough edit of the movie. So. That's crazy. My problem now is the movie, which I thought when I was editing it, like I was thinking that I might possibly not have enough footage to make a feature movie. And it turns out I've got a lot. I, it's way longer than I was hoping it was going to be. So now my problem is what can I take out of it? How can I trim it down? How can I make it? I want it to be under two hours because... 
for me, I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I see a movie that's over two hours, I'm like, I really want to see this, but maybe I'll wait till another time to watch it, and then I put it on my list, and then I never get around to watching it. Because I don't always like sitting there for two hours. Yeah. Hour and a half, hour and 45, that's perfect. And um, the movie is, there's a lot there. It's looking good. And like I said, I'm almost done. And since I am as far as I am, I can kind of guesstimate how much longer it's probably going to be. So um, that's why I know I'm going to have to go back and like, so rough edit will be done very soon. Hopefully by the end of this month, I've been working like eight to 10 hours a day on it just to try to like really get it done. And um, then I'll have to go back for the fine on it. And then do you want another sandwich? We'll split another sandwich or you pull? I'll split another one. Why don't this time, why don't you put some tofu and seitan? On the same sandwich. All right. Wait, do you want another one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so right, right the second I do, but sometimes... Yeah, and then 15 minutes, and then your body's like, like, oh, fuck. What oh. did we do? No, we're going to be fine. We're going to be just fine. Okay, okay. Then I'll, I'll, I'll kind of pace this. You're okay with two-hour movies? Okay, so if it's that long... See, here's the thing. I think it might be around that long with the credits, because you got you got to factor in the credits, right? Um, so maybe you're not too bad, then. Uh, no, I mean, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. It's uh, it's definitely not too short. It's definitely a feature movie. And, oh, it's looking so good. I can't wait to show you what I have. Do you have that one part that we were talking about? What part? The one that I can show my parents. Or no, not that part yet. I can get you that part, like, right away. That's easy. Because you, you want to show your dad? Yeah, but it can wait. If you're not, if it's not done yet, I don't need you to like go out of your way. Well, I mean, there's no special effects or sound or anything. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if he saw it, it would be like, oh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll just wait. He's fine. He's gonna be fine. Where's the so way? once it's all done and I can actually visualize now the entire movie. Then I can cut a trailer, like a, like a legit trailer. Before it wasn't a trailer, it, it was barely even a teaser. It was like just a scene that I had. But I can actually put a trailer together once it's done. I'm really excited, man. I'm, I'm excited to see you uh, like prog progress, you know, get it. Nobody watches the, the credits, says Tommy. Well, then maybe I will put something after the credits, so you got to watch the credits. I'll do one of those... Marvel things where you, you got to sit there for the whole time to watch Iron Man say I need a Reuben sandwich here <laughs> Superman just kidding Hulk Superman not the same Not the same you not the same you I don't know what you're doing, but you need to go sit down me Yeah, I was, I was actually talking about that earlier today with my producer, talking about, you know, having a, what I got to cut out of there, having a director's cut, and then, like, because that would be cool, too. Like, here's the, here's the Chris Cooney version. Here's what I want in here, but this is what made it. I don't feel like I can cut anything out of it, to be honest. Like, maybe, like, a little bit, like, a couple seconds here and there, but as far as, like, a whole scene, I feel like everything that's there needs to be there. And like, I mean, I rewrote that, I rewrote that script like probably 40 times. 40 so, times? So like, I, yeah, like to wow. like any kind of loophole, any kind of plot, you know, I just had to keep re rewriting things to make it better. And do you think, um, do you think it is better than the original or do you oh, think? Oh, well the original was only 40 pages and then, and then. And Wait, how many pages is it now? 120. So oh. now it's a feature. Okay. So when I first wrote it, it was like a short movie. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm going to make a real movie. And then like, I just, I'm like, okay, well, I need to get to it. And I needed to start writing. So in 2018, I wrote more into it. So what was, so I changed a few things over time. I changed the name of the main character. I, I, I put some more, you know, concrete stuff in there. I changed some scenes. I changed some scenes that were supposed to be at a certain location to like another location, which made it more interesting. 
Like, it basically made the movie better and better each rewrite to the point where it's... I'm not even a writer, and it's, it's, a, it's a good script, you know? Do you remember, like, the kind of trailer thing that we did with... Uh, yep. Is Jared. that still... Is that still uh, on the internet, or no? Was that never... No, it's there. Matt, I do like kale chips, and I haven't made them on my own in a long time. I've got a couple of dehydrators that I don't even have set up here, so... You've been busy, though, dude. I, yeah, but it's exciting because once this is done, which looks like it's finally coming to an end... Um, like, okay, I'll give you a... So the last two days, I edited a scene, two scenes, that I thought was going to take me a couple weeks to do because literally... You're going to use that oil? I like it better. It has a higher temp. Okay, um... I, uh, no, my mind is going, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? You were talking about, um, oh, shoot. OCD. Linda, what were we talking about? Linda, help us. I really screwed you up with my oil change. Oil change, see what they did there? Yeah, uh, Tommy, a uh, feature movie is generally <coughs> anything that's over, I think, 80 minutes. I think it's got to be over 80 minutes. So, like an hour, 20 minutes or more, um, which mine's already there right now. So, I, w I was editing, so, oh, I was editing a scene, one of our longest scenes, you were there the day, uh, well, yeah, you brought us food. Um, it was an 18-hour shoot. It was the longest scene that we did. I, in, the, in the city? Yeah. Yeah. And um, I thought this whole th scene that I'm doing, because I did two days, because we did another one in, in Auburn. I thought this was going to take me a week to edit this at the very... I, it's done. Two days took me. Two days it took me to edit that scene because I didn't stop. Like, I kept going because I was like, I need to see how this is going to... Like, I just kept going with it. So and two days, 20 hours? I've been neurotic about editing the movie now. Like, I just need to go down there and finish it. And it's almost done. So, you guys are hearing it first, which is kind of bad, right? It should be the Kickstarter people first, but... I'll do another, I'll just upload this video to Kickstarter. Um, it's been so long. It's been six years since we did the Kickstarter. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah, six years. Crazy. So, a lot of stuff out of your control. Soon we will have a, um, a feature movie, you know? You make yours in the oven. I've got some nice dehydrators, so I just, I got to put them in the dehydrator. I have a good dehydrator too, but I, I haven't made kale chips in over a year. Hold on. Oh yeah, you guys don't, like, I don't, if you guys only knew how long it took me to edit this movie, like, I've been working on it now since, I mean, I didn't do, I didn't put as much time into it last year, but like, I've been working on it little by little, and then the end of last year to right now, I've been like, really cranking it up, working on it, so... So yeah, it's uh, it's exciting, and I can't wait to share it with all of you guys. By the way, John, his brother made him watch the Aha music video. Take on me <laughs> with yeah. his cartoon. Uh, so there's a filter on YouTube. Oh, where you can turn it into that, and I yep. sang the song. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't get I didn't get bit by copyright yet. Well, the need, copyright bug bites you. Right, right. I hate when that happens. And needless to say, I'm on to them, so. Cashew cream with some nutritional yeast and some like spices. Two. What else did I want to... Um, I kind of got a kind of a funny story. I went to Wegmans the other night. <laughs> Useless things you can do when you have a photographic memory. <laughs> so I went to Wegmans the other night, and there's this guy that, that's working there. And I walk by him, and I'm like, uh, okay, like, um, I, I walk up to him, and I'm like, uh, excuse me, um, you know, I noticed you don't have any more plant-based uh, a mayo is like, are you guys like stop carrying it, or whatever? And he's like, is 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 there a label for it? Maybe it's just out. I'm like, 
well, the last few times I've come here, like, there's none there. And um, I'm just wondering. And then I go, y you look familiar. Uh, did you work somewhere else? And he's like, nope. I've been working here for 31 years. And I go, did you work at, and I just, I mentioned a place. And he's like, and he looked at me and he's like, <laughs> yeah, 31 years ago I worked at this place. And um, I was only like 15 or 16. But he worked at this like corner store down by my friend's house. And we would skateboard down there to buy like snacks and stuff. I had only been there like twice ever in my life. But I got a photographic memory and I, like I remembered him. And, and then I, so I recognized him from 31 years ago. And then I'm like, yeah. And then I just walked away. So this guy's probably sitting there like, what just happened? Like, who was that guy? And how does he remember me from 31 years ago? And like, I, I just walked away. So he's probably got a story that he's telling. I have no idea how this guy recognized me or, I mean, it's not like it was five years ago. It was a lifetime ago. So I just thought that was pretty funny. You actually talked, we talked about that a couple weeks ago too. I, I, I said, I'm like, I'm going to go to this guy and I'm going to ask him. Because I was 99.999% sure that that was it. But, there, you know, there's a small chance that maybe my... No, there's not. My memory is, is impeccable. But it, but it's, but it's, it's not with everything. Like, like, it, like, I don't know. It's like your long-term memory is really good. Yeah, it's like some things I don't remember. If I don't make a point, if it didn't affect me some way, then, then it's like I don't, I don't know. Yeah, you don't retain it. Cause, right. cause your brain's like, I'm not gonna assign a color to that. Right, right. Like, I'll tell you this. When I was in high school, I barely remembered anything that I learned, except for if it was something that like stood out, or if somebody did something stupid, I never forgot that. But the stuff that was being taught to me, I didn't remember any of that. At the time, I didn't. I guess I just really didn't care about it. I don't know. <laughs> Um, with the mayo I don't know but the, the Wegmans mayo is really bad it's not good selective photographic memory yeah well I guess some things I just remember and it's useless information you know like, I don't know why I remember some certain things. Like, Do you know who, who our 11th president was? I mean, um... That's I, not a memory. I'm just wondering. I mean, I could figure it out. So you know all the presidents? I know. Yeah, I used to know them all in order, but I probably might forget. There's, like, Washington, Madison, Monroe, Madison. Um, uh, I'm forgetting one, but then there's um, Van Buren. Um... There's Taylor, Polk, Tyler, Pierce Buchanan, Johnson, um, Grant Johnson. No, Johnson is after Lincoln. Um, and so is Johnson's after Kennedy, too. That's weird. They both got assassinated, and they both had a Johnson after them. Huh. I can name all the presidents that were assassinated. Can I say that word? Don't say that I word. I can't say that word. Because got ass in it? Right, right. No, you can't even say it. Yeah, no. The ones that got, like, were... Um, JFK. Yep. I learned that Lincoln, in the Billy Joel song. Right, because he got blown away. What yeah. else do I have to say? Yeah. Um, and then there's there's Lincoln. Mm -hmm. And then there's Garfield. Come on, that's a cat. Dude. Yeah, I know, I know. And then there's McKinley. You know, so. what's, you know what's fun about um, warming up? Warm it up, Chris. <clears throat> You're Chris. Exactly. You know what's fun AJ. about warming up? Um, what's this stuff called? Kraut. Sauerkraut? Yeah. The caraway seeds pop like popcorn. Oh my god, I love caraway seeds. <laughs> okay, dude. We're building the sand. Okay, dude, calm down. We're building it. The sandwich is going to be... Dude, it's going to be metal. 
What's the square root of this room? The square root of this room, in my opinion, is probably... 11. I thought you said, what's the square root of the moon? Um, what's the diameter of the moon? Isn't it like 160... Feet. Feet. Squared. Feet, yes. Um, and it's something like 238,000 miles away, or so they say. Uh, it's just a picture. <laughs> it's just a, take a picture. All right, Chris. I think this, this sandwich came out a little better. Um, Cleveland was the president twice. Cleveland, and then Harrison, and then Cleveland again. Oh, he's doing it. Are you cooking? Nope, we're all done. He ain't cooking. <laughs> Pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. Pie, 3.1415926. Five. Mmm. So good. He's doing it. He's doing it. I'm going to do it too. Stack it up. You want to put it on the nice one? The pizza? Oh, the nice one. Sure. Look this, at that. This is a tofu root, seitan Reuben. What's the square root of a tofu Reuben? Times the quadra quadratic. Do you want more than one? Want me to stack More it? than one would be great. Stack it. Uh, I'm a I'm a Reuben sandwich, ready to party. Reuben Sierra, Reuben stuttered, soldered. There's too many things in the background I don't like. I don't like it. I think I want the the stove in the background. There we okay. Go. I feel like this doesn't look as good as it does in real life. Yeah. It's all right. It's it's okay. If we had, I think if we had better bread, we would have made that thing look so good. Dude, I like this bread. I think it's good. All right, all right. I'm too hard on myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't say anything wrong. Okay, which one's which? It doesn't matter. You can take your pick. I'll take a sandwich. Okay, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> I almost, I, you almost took my. I almost grabbed it. Mm. All right, cheers. Ooh, you really crunched it up that time. Did say can? No. Oh, maybe that was a little too much crunch. Well, I like it. Oh, all right. Well, then I did it on purpose. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a Reuben pizza, dude. We talked about that. One five nine two six five. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine, nine. Oh, they want somebody wants a close up. Turn up. Go over your eyes so it like. Mmm, look at that. What were you doing, like, fatality? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. Finish him. Mmm. Yeah, Matt, that's good. Take a bite for me. That looks delicious. I'm really excited by the way this came out. Mm -hmm. you could sell these. It kind of made me feel when I made the seitan last night. It gave me the um, same feeling that I got when we tested the No Killy Philly seitan for the first time. I was like, Chris, I got something you gotta try. That was when I was at the studio place where we filmed our first episodes. Mm -hmm. I remember that place. I like that place. Yeah, it was good. Probably the best place we filmed at. Totally made it look like we were in a zombie apocalypse for sure. <laughs> How's my shoulder? Uh, it's worse. It kills. We use tofu and seitan. How's Indy? He's about the same. You made Rubens last night? I bet a, a lot of people made Rubens yesterday. Yeah, but we're a day late, a buck short, and we're writing a report. 
I don't think we've ever done a Ruben video. We should do that for this. Okay. Michael okay. Angel's too. All right. I'm going to slow down. I mean, full. It, and he's my doggy. He's been my doggy for 13 years. In fact, I still remember the day I got him. 13 years ago, next week, March 25th. Wow. It was not a very good, uh, not a very good beginning either. No, he had parvo. He almost died. He was the cutest little puppy. Oh my God. So freaking cute. If it wasn't for me taking him in, uh, he would be one of beer. That was really good. What do I even do now? What do we do with the rest of our lives? I'm telling you, we take a food coma nap. Mom says, Holly, just keep answering until you finally say, because I said so, LOL, only kidding. I don't know what the heck she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we known each other? A long time. See, John is the same age as my youngest brother. So I first met John when he was like we a was little way kid. Way down here. <laughs> I was like, I was a teenager, probably like, what was that? Like a senior or something? You no, you were um, you were out of high school. You sure? Because I remember. Well, I remember you before that. You used to come. There's a picture of you at my parents' house. We're in a, a jersey. Yeah. Yeah. You and had that somewhere. So at some point, you were my brother's friend that would just come over, and I would just like pick on you guys. Yep. And um, so I, I've kind of known John for like over 30 years because. Okay, can I tell you? What? When I thought you were the coolest, though, is when you had your buddy James. I won't give the last names. Uh -huh. And Crystal. Yeah. And I was like, she's hot and he's cool, and they were dating. Yep. That, that was that made me want to be cool too. I think that was it was either ninety four or ninety five. It was after ninety four because you guys made a video about Oh so it was after I came back home from Florida. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you so, have you have blonde hair? I mean, I'm yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah. Well don't so yeah, I had blonde hair, but that was before Eminem was yeah. famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Eminem is, yes, he's older than me, but I had the hair before. You had the hair before. Anyone knew who Eminem was. We didn't know him back then. We didn't. That's we, why I liked Eminem, because I'm like, oh, he looks, he has Chris Cooney hair. <laughs> Shh, don't say my name. Oh, I'm kidding. John's a baby when Yoi met him. Yep. I'm just going to read everything like it is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a really good vegan pizza restaurant in Atlanta, Georgia, the vegan... Bodega Cat at once in one of her videos when they used to have two locations here in Georgia that you should try out when you are here in Atlanta, Georgia. I would like to go there. You know what? I'll tell you a story about Atlanta, Georgia. Holly, thank you for that super chat. Appreciate you. Chris, your mom said that because you used to always say, but why? When you were young, I told her that my youngest is the same. I always did that. <laughs> I never took... And I never took anything for an answer. I, but why? To the point where... Anyway, I met Greg Nicotero, the director of The Walking Dead, got to start with George Romero, and I got a video of this. Everybody is going in line at this uh, thing, and they're all getting like uh, autographs from him and stuff, and I'm like, because I saw everybody there, I'm like, I want to go, I want to meet him. Um, thank you, Keetra. Keetra, thank you for that super chat. And Holly. Yep, and well, we you already said, said Holly. Holly. Sorry, I didn't say. Let's it celebrate their fifth super chat on the live. Like, let's give a, a like. There we go. Boom. No, do the do the uh, the cat. No, don't do the cat. Do the, the that one. That one. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. We I, are celebrating. I don't think it really does anything. For no, me. it does. It pops up on their screen. Oh, okay, cool. Remember, um, Craig, Craig tested it out. So you could see that Greg was kind of getting like a little. He just seemed like irritated because everybody was um, hey, Negan, you know, and he's like, okay, let's take a picture, Negan, and then I went up there and I'm like, 
He's like, how you doing? Which one do you want? I'm like, I'll get that one. I got a signed autograph from him of a, a poster. And then we go to take a picture together. And, and I, I go, I got a question for you. And he's like, oh, here's another Negan. And I go, if I were to go to your restaurant in Atlanta, Georgia, would I find anything vegan on the, rest, on the, on the menu? And he got all like, he lit up and he's like, oh, yeah, you would, yeah. And I'm like, awesome. We took a picture. Actually, we took a picture like this because he was on the good side. I didn't get my good side. He got it. <laughs> and um, anyway, he was cool. And then Rachel was filming this. She hates when, when I tell the story because she's filming. I'm like, here, film this entire inter interaction. So she's filming it. So we take a picture. And then as soon as we're done taking the picture, she, without me saying anything, she hits stop on the record and then she hit stop and then Greg Nicotero came right up to the camera and he goes vegan zombie like that and I was like did you get that she's like no I'm like what <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I was so bummed um oh man so that's funny I'm getting green all over my beard my red leprechaun beard green beard green they beard. call them green beard they call me green beard do you know here in Syracuse Syracuse is a very Irish very Irish. My 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 dad is a hundred percent Irish, and he grew up in like you know that part Ireland. of the country. Yeah, in Syracuse, and they have we have a um, a traffic light, and it's the only one in the world like this where uh, it's upside down. It's upside down, right? The green, which is normally on the bottom, is on the top. Somebody got fired. Yeah, so that that is a, that's our that's our uh, our traffic light here in Syracuse. And it's up on Tipperary Hill. Ah, the old tip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. So. Oh, Mo Mellow Mushroom, I've been there. You've been there? Yeah, it's good. They, that's a good, they have good vegan pizzas. It sounds familiar. Did they used to have one of those down in, like, the D.C. area? Or maybe even Florida? I went to my friend Kalina's wedding down in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And that's where they had one there, so... I've never been to Chattanooga. Uh, Heavy Metal Vegan, thanks again for a second super chat. Let's uh, let's give a heart there. Boom. Heart. Appreciate you. Heavy Metal Vegan. Mellow Mushroom is good AF. You love the car ride we took. That was fun. Maybe we should do another car ride and go to Ithaca. Well, that's we, too far away. That's, yeah, that's right. What if we went back into town, into Syracuse, and like, what time is it? We got like some cookies or something at recess, or I don't know. That could be fun. You're like, that could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that could be fun. I don't. I Maybe don't, not tonight, but. Yeah, I don't know what time recess closes, but I'm going to look right now. Um, I, I'm just throwing stuff out there. Like, maybe. We go to. Maybe Al we can meet. I'll tell get some chips and salsa. Oh! Alive. Maybe we go to Olive Garden and get some. I've never any bread. Yeah. I'm just yeah. Kidding. I'm I do. I I. We used to do that every Sunday. Our uh, group that we said was gonna be together forever broke. That broke up. Oh yeah. We used to go like every Sunday and get uh, the minestrone soup was vegan back then, or at least that's what they t somebody told me. I'm guessing not though. By the way. Not when I worked. When I worked there, it wasn't. Okay. I worked at the Olive Garden when I moved back from Florida, for a brief summer. Um, the noodles in there had egg, egg in it. it. Um, Jeanette says we should do a picnic when it's nicer. Definitely. I agree. We should do a picnic. We should do... We need to do stuff for the movie. When the movie comes out. Um. Yeah, definitely. Like meet, like a meetup? Well, well, I want to do a premiere and, and all that good stuff for it. Oh, we got another super chat from Kitra. Good job. Is it Kitra or Kitra? I, I've been calling her the first Kitra. one or the second one, Kitra or Kitra. I'll be real it's, embarrassed if it's Kitra. It doesn't let me give the. It doesn't let me do the the heart though. There. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, what else is new? Hang on, some of the breadsticks. A vegan Woodstock. It's vegan. All right, so they must have changed it because when I worked there, it wasn't. The breadsticks were always vegan with the butter. The butter was vegan as well. But don't take my word now because I don't know. I haven't worked there since 97. It is Kitra. Like Kit Kat bar. Kitra. Son of a biscuit. 
The super chat competition is on. All right, can we get a can we get a six? Can we get a six dollars? How about a seven? When I opened up my kombucha last night and exploded, it yeah. exploded all over my all over my computer. It's fine though. I saw the video. It looked funny. Yeah. So it automatically carbonates when you make it. It takes it takes a couple days, but it builds fresh. You're supposed to burp it. But I thought Ooh. I was just giving her a little burp, but she exploded. Okay. You answered anything. <laughs> Ketra, the Kit Kat bar. I just ate my only Kit Kat bar. I my brother it. brought it back here from Germany. Pat. Pat. Yep. How about a vegan camp out? I love camping and I haven't been camping in a few years. That would be fun. I could actually we could we could camp right outside here. I'm like I live in a forest. Yeah, we could. Yeah. No, oh, hold on. Let's go inside for a second. Um, we got another one from Heavy Metal Vegan. So Heavy Metal Vegan's in the lead right now. Vegan can't camp out does sound good. There we go. S'mores. Maybe roast some dogs. Not not dogs, but hot dogs over hot the diggities. open fire. You finally got your hands on the, Re the vegan Reese's. What did you think? Here's what I tell everybody. Because I've had good ones and bad ones, you know? Um, the good ones are the most, the best ones I've ever had ever, but then sometimes you get one that's kind of dried out. You got to put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. Uh, but it's, I, I feel like some people have had ones that are not as good and be like, Oh, what are you talking about? These aren't good. They are good. If you get the right one, uh, Kitra with another $5 super chat. Oh says man. New. The, the well fight done. is on. So um, Heavy Metal did four ninety nine. She did five dollars. So we're in the lead here. I think at the top on the left it gives us a total of how much we made. On the top. Oh, oh. no, go, keep going. Go and I'll scroll over to the left. Oh, see, yeah, I, I can't like. Uh... Oh, on mine. Hey, that's us. That is us. Oh, you got top chat on, not live chat. Oh, not... I don't think it really. We've matters. been missing millions of people. Millions of people. Okay, live chat. There we go. Live chat. Okay, now we can. So if we didn't see you before, now we see you. <sighs> They're making it rain on us. They're making it rain $5 bills. I'm trying to do. This is the best I can do with my shoulder the way it is. But at least it's something. Oh. Right, we're peanut butter in the middle. Oh, oh, AJ's joining the AJ. party. Oh, no. Whoa. Okay, I can't even keep up. Are you, how are you how all come bidding? some of them I can heart and some of them I can't? Like, I can't heart AJ's, but I can heart heavy metals. Look at the Irish. Are you all bidding? All right, this it's time to... I'm going to have to put a beanie on for this. Why? Because it's cold. It is, yeah. I have um, two pairs of pants on. I mean, I like my house cold. I got a, um, I got a, a sweater on underneath this hoodie. I keep my house cold for when you come over. And then when you leave, I, I crank the heat. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't. Okay. Um, Matt says it's raining. It's raining. Men. It's raining men. Oh, I wish it was 60. I was outside all day. Was, oh, we got a new person. Carrot, Carrot Boo. Carrot, Carrot Boo. Thank you for the 20. We're going to be able to buy so much food for What are we going to make for next week? Well, we're going to taste test the lion's mane. Oh, right. Right. And those are expensive, so. <laughs> They're like 20 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. There's lion's mane. Zombies need to stay cold so they don't decompose. That's right. But when they're too cold, they can't move. I just watched like a kind of apocalyptic movie. It started out really good. I'm not going to say if it kept, kept good, but it's got... Um, it's got Tyrion Lannister in it. Oh. Yeah. It was very, like, not much happened, but it was like, and then not much, I don't know. So it started strong. Yeah. Again. Can you tell us the name or no? Yeah, it was called I Think We're Alone Now. It had it had uh, Peter Dinklage, and it had Dakota Fanning's little sister, Ellie Fanning. Netflix? And, yeah, Netflix. Um, um, Paul Giamatti. And Charlotte Gainsbourg. Well, she probably don't know who that is. No. Give me a movie she's in. Well, her brother is Serge Gainsbourg. Okay. He's a musician. He's dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Um, French. Oh. oh, French. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Um, and 
I, I think, unless I'm getting it mixed up, I think it, I think she's his sister. Anyway, um, Paul Giamatti, he's in, what is Paul Giamatti in? He was in, uh, he makes hair gel. He doesn't have any hair. Wow. I mean, oh, he's in X-Men. Is he? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Can you sneak past him? Just do the, the, the Siri and say, hey, show me pictures of... Show me pictures of naked people. Super Chat winner should pick what we eat next week. Oh. It's got to be in reason, though. You can't be like, you have... You know, like, it's, obviously it's got to be vegan. Um, the video's frozen? Is the video frozen? Cinderella Man and Side... Yeah, Sideways is the movie I was thinking of. Sideways is the movie. I have Paul Giamatti. Thank you, by the way. Is that book. the wine, wine movie? Yes, yeah. I've seen that. That's what I was going to say. The wine one, yeah. And I, he's a good actor. Which one is he? He's the the guy with the glasses, the ugly looking guy that, you know, the man... That he would not appreciate that. But I know... Well, is he, he, that's what he is. Is he's he the in Planet of the Apes? I don't know. The remake? I don't know. Right, because they're all apes. Is he in Planet of the Apes? I didn't see Planet of the Apes. We have another one from Heavy Metal Vegan. Another $4.99. This is crazy. If we stay on here until the morning, we're going to be rich. <laughs> you still want us to make tamale. We did that before. We did make tamales before. I heard it's just tamal. Oh. The real... If you're going to say it in the Spanish, it's tamal. We haven't made, we haven't made tamal, tamal in a long time. Um... Elsa is not here for me. Not Frozen. Sideways is pretty funny. I haven't seen Sideways in a long time, though. Uh, you played Serge Gensberg a little bit on my radio in college, but mostly a dark music. Yeah, I've, I have a bunch of Serge Gensberg. I was listening to it back in the two, early 2000s. Okay. And I, what else did I watch? I, I watched that Adam Sandler one of the Space... Yeah, you told me. You yeah, didn't I want did. It. I watched another space one too. I watched Voyagers. Um, what else did I watch? Anyway, do you guys have any uh, recommendations for movies to watch? Anybody watch any good movies lately? I have not watched any good movies. Well, neither have I. I mean, speaking of movies, though, what time is it? Eight twelve. I was gonna say because you could show me. Show me that. Oh, so Charlotte is the daughter. Okay, that makes sense. I know there was a relation. Thank you for um, thank you for clarifying that, Anka. The Holdovers is the new new movie with Paul Giamatti. Yeah, the movie I'm talking about, I think, came out in 2018. I'd never heard about it until just now. Nick Cage, hell yeah. Oh, Nick Cage has a new movie, too. I'm actually really, really full. I'm good, yeah. You found AI by Steven Spielberg at the thrift store? Yeah, um, it's been a while since I saw that one. I should go back and uh, check it out again. Rice and beans, hell yeah. Oh, Deadpool 3 comes out, uh, oh, when is it? Sometime in July, right? I didn't even know they were making a third one. The Whole Truth with Keanu Reeves, older movie. The Whole Truth. I haven't heard of that one. What? I did watch John Wick 1 and 2. Oh, you did? I saw part 1. I just, you know, eh, you like action movies, I guess? It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, I've been watching a lot of movies where the end comes and it's like, what just happened? Do I need to Google this? And it's like, oh, it's open to your interpretation. I don't want a movie. Yeah, close open it. to my interpretation. Don't do that. I want to know. The series of 100. I started 
started watching that a while ago. I didn't, I didn't stay with it though. Buy the book. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for that super chat. A balloon with a five. Five. Um. Have you guys heard of A forty four? I think so. It's a zombie movie. Yeah. 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 We're going to watch a little bit of that. Hopefully it's all rendered and in the 1080. Will we watch up here on the TV? Yeah. Sweet. We'll put it on the TV. We're going to go watch my movie from what it is. It's, I always leave it off in a part, like a cliffhanger, where you're going to be like, what? Oh, don't do this. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we'll probably do that. Um... Uh, I saw Six Feet Under. That's a good series. You're gonna come over, yeah, Tommy. I'd let you see it if you were here. You're in. Tommy's in the movie, so don't tell anybody. Uh, Tommy's not in the Tom, movie. We don't. I don't know a Tommy. I don't even know who Tommy is. Tommy. Did Boyle. I even say Tommy? I don't think so. I don't think I did. No, I think I, I said no. Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. You guys should do a live video watching a movie so all of us could watch. We, Can you do that? We tried to do that before. They shut us down. Shut us, shut us down. Even on like Discord or something? Maybe on Discord, but on here, they shut us down. Yeah. Because we tried to watch that, what's it called? Something Dark Midnight? The Michael Scott movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they shut us down. Yeah. Mid Michael Scott. Yep. Because that would be fun. Movie night. We could all have popcorn. We could talk. It's like Mystery Science Theater 3000. 2000. Five. <laughs> big it's secret. It's big love. Safe. Big love. Big love. When I was in Florida, when I first moved to Florida, which means it was probably 1995. It could have been 1996, but I'm sitting. I'm sitting in. Um, I'm sitting with my friend, with two of my friends. At, at this, like, um, God, I forgot what it was called, but Noah worked there for a little bit. It was this, like, bar slash sandwich slut shop, and uh, it was in Sarasota, Florida. We were chilling out there, and, and I look up, and this lady's, like, walking by, and she makes eye contact with me, and I'm like, I know who that is. It was, it was Gina Gershon from the movie Showgirls, and I was like, oh, my oh. God, I know who that was. And then, and then I'm standing there, and my friend comes up to me, and she's like, oh, hey, Chris, what's up? Uh, this is my friend, and, and I look up. And it's like, in my head, I'm just like, in my head, I'm freaking out. But in real life, I'm just like, whatever. You know, <laughs> it was, it was Chloe Sevigny. And she's like, hi, I'm Chloe. And I'm like, Chris, you know, and she's like, do you have a cigarette? And I'm like, I don't smoke. <laughs> and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh my God, it's Chloe. She's in the movie kids. Like, you know, and I just said that because she just said big love. And I, she's in that show, big love, right? It's really funny. I... I normally don't get nervous when I meet anybody, but like if I really like, I met a couple musicians that I'm really like a huge fan of. Yeah. And I the my voice gets louder. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. Not, no, it wasn't Anthony oh. Green, but it was the drummer. Okay. In the band, and it was uh, it was a couple. Oh, it was um, it was the Jesse from Brand New. My okay. I was like in in his apartment, and I was just trying to be normal, but I was talking way louder. Than I should. My vo volume, my voice just gets out. <laughs> hey, how's it going? No, I, yeah, totally. No, I'm. Yeah, I was at. The, oh, the restaurant down the street's really good. Uh, John, can you just talk a little? <laughs> I could see Jennifer Garner kind of looking like Gina Davis a little, a little bit maybe. You'd be fangirling if you met Chloe. Well, she was best friends with one of my friends in Florida, um, back in the day. So if I ever see her, I'll be like, hey, I met you a long time ago. You were friends with so-and-so. Thank you again, uh, Heavy Metal. See, I can't light, I can't give it the heart, but I want to. I'll just give you the, the goat. <sighs> Chloe seems like she would be a listener more than... Yeah, she didn't really seem like a talker. She was just kind of... She actually kind of like gave off the Paris Hilton vibes. But this is way before Paris Hilton was... Famous, I guess. They are just people. 
That's why I don't get starstruck when I see them. Yeah, they're just people. Like, I was walking to my apartment when I lived in New York City, and I walked right by Fred Savage. I'm like, you know, like, Wonder Years, you know? Like, and he just looked at me like, yeah, yeah, you know, like, don't say anything. I know you know who I am. I'm like, yep. I can't, I couldn't not. Like, I would have to be like, oh, Wonder Years guy. Wonder Years. And that would be it. That's all. But then just keep on going. I, I was at the, the, um, this is kind of funny. I was at Eat Drink Vegan, and I was ready. To, this was a few years ago, probably 2017, 2018. And it was getting ready to end, and I'm eating. It was, it was the YouTube house one, because I, I was on the Esselstyn diet, so I was only eating, like, there was only, like, one place I could really eat, like, very healthy food. And as I was leaving, this girl's like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And I'm like, um, and she, she goes, can I give you a hug? And I'm like, sure. And she gives me a hug, and she goes, are you the vegan zombie? And I go, no. And she's like, oh. And I'm like, I, I'm just kidding. But like, you should have seen her face. It's funny. Um, okay, so we're probably going to go watch the movie now. This sandwich will not go to waste. It's going to be... Oh, I ate more than you tonight? I know. Well, I, had that? A, I did eat a lot while I was cooking. Oh. Like, that's what I do. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You walked into Lenny Kravitz? That's so weird. I just saw a picture Are you gonna of you. Oh, you're going to go in the parking lot, having a smoke with a couple of nice-looking women. Cool. Don't meet your idols. I know, I don't ever want to meet Robert Smith. You know? Yeah, I feel like you'd be very disappointed. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Oh. <laughs> hey, Robert. He's like, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, like, you changed my life. Like, I, I remember skating like, in the oh, basement God. when I was just like, oh, drama is so much Oh, oh. Uh, I played in the crow. <laughs> Every night I burn. John, I've seen you eat a whole cake before. You can do it. I don't want to do it right now. I don't want to not feel good for the rest of the night. Well, oh, Linda's peacing out. Linda, we need you. Yeah, we're peacing out too. Yeah, we are. We are getting to go. Um, why did I stop the Esselstyn diet? Um, because it sucked, and I like to eat food, uh, but, uh, but I do eat a lot healthier than I used to eat, minus sometimes in front of the camera with you guys. Uh, so, you know, it was good, but it's, you know, I wasn't, I don't know, I like trying out different foods and stuff, and I wasn't, like, um, terminally sick where I would, like, have to eat like that for the rest of my life or anything like that, but I did, like, cut down on a lot of, uh, a lot of junkies. Like I don't eat any coconut oil. I mean, I, I that you don't like it. That was, well, it's not that it was like I was fooled that it was some health food, but it's like got like eighty percent, eighty seven percent saturated fat. It's like so bad, and it can really elevate your uh, your your uh, cholesterol too. Oh, you just got started. I got a few videos if you want to check my videos out on the Esselstyn diet. So I did it back in what, twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen. It worked. I got my cholesterol down perfect. Didn't have to, you know, take any any drugs or anything like that. You had a giant poster of Robert Smith on your bedroom wall in 19... I did, too. It was like, um, which one was it? I think he was wearing, like, a flower button-up shirt and, you know, his hair and everything was black and, and white. I mean, that's every pure thing. <laughs> <laughs> one more from Heavy Metal Vegan. How much is that tonight? We appreciate you, Heavy Metal. Yes, thank you so much. Definitely gonna go towards more food next oh, week. Oh, there we go. We got the we got the like. We got the like. There we go. Error try again. What? The disintegration. Yeah, disintegration is my favorite of the albums. You also skateboards. So do it must I. Be a, it must be a cure. So thing. do I. I probably shouldn't skateboard until I get my uh, thing yeah, fixed. For you know. Sure. You don't want to mess it up. Yeah, anymore. don't want to mess it up. Anyway, I hope you guys like this. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight and also for all the lovely super chats so we can, uh, you know, make something fun next week. Yeah, we'll see you all next Monday. Taste testing a Lion's Mane. You nervous? I mean, I'll do it. If I don't like it, I'll just do it, it out. Do it for the vine. I'll do it. Do it for the all vine. All right, you guys, have a great night. Yes. I'm going to go watch a movie. We're going to watch a movie. A Chris movie. Chris Cooney Ridge.